here's the question. Now that I've created a Google form, how do I view and manage the responses that I'm collecting? Let me show you how to do that. So the easiest way to do this is to go to Google Drive. Be, you have to be the owner of the form in order to do this. Go to Google Drive, find your form, open it up, and view it. Now while you're viewing it, you're in edit mode. But look over here on responses. You see I have 27 responses. If I click on responses, here they are right here. All of these, I can see the summary, I can look at the various questions, I can look at the individual responses by individual people. This is a really interesting way to simply look at the data. But if you want to manage the data, if you want to uh, you know, analyze it and review it, the best thing to do is link to sheets. So when I link to a sheet, I can create a new sheet or link it to an existing sheet. I'm In this case, I'm going to create a new sheet. I'm going to hit create. And then it opens up the Google Sheet that is now connected to the Google Form. So all new submissions to this Google Form will not only show up in here under Responses, but they will also show up to this Google Sheet that the form is linked to. Now, what can you do with this sheet? There's a lot of things you can do. There are only a few things that you shouldn't do. First of all, I don't know. I don't think you can delete a, a column. Let me see if I can delete a column. No, I can't. That's good because I can't delete a column that is tied to the Google Sheet. But check this out. I can insert a new column and I can put a formula in this column. You know, call it my calculation, whatever I want to call it. I can insert a new column and the system won't mind at all. I can even take a column of data that's connected to the Google form. I can even take an existing column of data that's connected to the Google form and I can move that and put it in another place. The system will know that this is the column where it collects that information. Now I can also, if I want to, I can sort the data. I can sort it any way I want. I can sort it based on any column I want. The only thing you don't want to do, because this will cause a problem, is you do not want to add new rows. You want new rows of data to come through the Google form. I can change the data in here any way I want. I can, uh, I can even delete rows if I want. Now note, the next row of data is uh, going to come in at 29. And if I delete row 18, still the next piece of data is going to come in on row 29. You have a blank row in there. But that's okay. I can just sort it any way I want. It won't hurt anything to have a blank row. Bottom line is the easiest way to view and manage your Google Form data is to, from the Google Form, click on Responses. You can view it here any way you want, but the best way is to link it to a sheet and then view in the Google Sheet. I'm Teddy, your Google Workspace and Gmail guy. I hope this is helpful for you. And by the way, if you have any other questions about using Google Sheets or Google Forms, Comment on this YouTube video and I'll go answer the question for you.